amazing day, once again, the day that God has made. Now today we're going to talk about something called forgiveness. Do you know what forgiveness means? It's when somebody forgets the bad things that you've done. If you had to oh, smack one of your brothers or sisters, or maybe even your mom or dad, well that's very naughty, and then they forgive you for doing that. It's as if they forget about the bad thing that you have done to them. Maybe you take something from the grocery cupboard that you're not allowed to. Or you disobey them when they ask you not to go outside. But all these things we can be forgiven for. And if somebody on earth can forgive you, how much more can our Father in heaven forgive us for all the bad things we've done? And we mustn't forget to pray for forgiveness when we're talking to God and something in our hearts is just not sitting right. We remember something that we've done that we feel a little bit guilty about. We should talk to God and ask Him for, for forgiveness. He forgives us for everything we do. He is such a gracious Father. Now to remind us about forgiveness, and how much power there is by God forgiving us. I want you to go and fetch a piece of paper and something to write with. The piece of paper doesn't have to be orange. It can be any color. Right, go and fetch one and then come back to the video. Okay, have you got one? Right. So we're going to fold our piece of paper to make a house. Take one corner. And fold it down. You might have to ask your mom or dad to help you with this part. Press it so that it's forming a nice little point. Have you got that? Let's try it again. Fold it down to make a point. There we go. Now you're going to take this pointy end and you're going to fold it over to its little side here to make our roof. And then just press that side like that. Have you got it? Now we've made our house. Now when we are at our house, everybody's house looks different. Maybe your roof doesn't look exactly like this. But it's just a reminder about our home. There are things that we do at home that aren't pleasing to God. Sins. What are sins? Bad things that we've done. So take your pen or whatever you have to write with and I want you to write these things on the roof. So maybe you uh, disobeyed your mom. When she asked you to do something or not do something. <laughs> Maybe you lied. Hmm? That's not a good one. Lying. Maybe uh, you were hurtful to your brother or sister. Maybe you said a bad word. Oh dear. Bad words. Are you writing all of these down? sure some of you have done some of these bad things. Okay, I'm going to give you just a few seconds to maybe think of some more and write them down on your roof.
you've got some things in your roof there. But now, do you know what happens? When we ask God for forgiveness, and we start pointing towards Him, take this out of your paper, and we are going to tear, I will show you now, tear off our house to make an arrow towards Jesus. And on the other side, tear off to make a point pointing to Jesus. Can you do that? I'll give you a few more seconds. Now we've got our little house or our tower, but I like to think of it as an arrow arrow pointing towards Father God in heaven. And when we remember to ask God for forgiveness, we can't come to Father God if we have all these things that are sitting in our hearts. But now we're going to do something amazing. I want you to open up reminds us of the cross. Jesus has paid the price for our sins. Jesus had to die on the cross so that we could come to Father God and through his forgiveness, all those things fade away. It's like he never remembers them again. At the cross, at the cross, I surrender my life. I'm in awe of you. I'm in awe of you. Amazing! The cross of Jesus. Now, boys and girls, we're going to pray together. And we're going to remember the cross. Because that is how we are forgiven. Jesus has paid the price for all these sins. Close your eyes. Father God, we come to you today and ask for forgiveness. Forgiveness because of the cross that Jesus died on. Thank you, Jesus, for paying the price for our sins. We ask for your forgiveness and we ask that you don't remember them anymore. Thank you for making our hearts pure and that we can come to the Father with open arms. Amen.